They live in the farthest reaches of Siberia, and for them, the dolls constituted a sacred object, illustrating one of their central legends, how such a doll made the journey from the frozen Siberian north to a cave in the French Alps is a mystery to me. Even today, it is beyond my comprehension. Have you considered that Hans Varlberg was maybe making it up? You said yourself he didn't seem to have all his mental facilities intact. No, that's impossible. Hans couldn't invent a story like that. The doll is a sacred part of the Siberia legend. He described it to me in exact detail. Siberia itself is a chimera that paleontologists of the world are very fond of pursuing. I have that doll. I'll leave you in peace. I hope I haven't disturbed. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm going back to the train anyway. To talk to Oscar. Maybe I'll grab that doll while I'm there just to... Well, just in case I need it. I can go back if the train won't move. Look at him. Look at him still hanging around outside. Oh. Hello? So, you got him then, this air? Ah, it's you, Mr. Marson. Good day, and, and how are you, sir? I'll feel a whole lot better when this whole business is over and the sales contract is signed. Where the hell are you? I'm in Bergstadt. What? What in God's name are you doing there? It's a magnificent university town. It would appear Hans Varlberg once passed by here several years ago. So if he isn't there anymore, then there's no point hanging around. I hear what you're saying, sir, but I have good reason to believe that Hans Varlberg is still alive. For the time being, I'm trying to gather extra information from people who have known him. What's your next destination? I'm not exactly sure, yet. Doesn't sound like you know too much, Kate. I just need a bit of time, Mr. Morrison. Yeah, well, time is what you ain't got. Keep me posted. What a git. to the train. Oh god. I have to go back in the station. I just hope I can find my way out. If I get that doll, if I don't get anywhere with Oscar, what I'll do is I'll take it back to that guy and say, Look, Woolly Mammoth. You like? You like my Woolly Mammoth? And see what he does. Oscar, move the train. Everything okay, Oscar? Yes, Kate Walker. I am awaiting your instructions. Um, uh, train. This train might be a wonder of technology, but the engine's limited autonomy is a liability. You got to admit that. I am afraid I refuse to entertain this consideration, Kate Walker. Uh, I'm getting money. Oscar, the sailors have agreed to tow the train, oh, I've got but that. they want to get paid for it. I suppose you have some petty cash on board to cover traveling costs? No, there is nothing like that. You will note, however, Kate Walker, that every effort has been made to ensure maximum passenger comfort. Okie dokie. I'll have to sort this one out by myself then. Some kind of strange graph. Oscar? In a while. Well. Glitches aside, that conversation gave me no useful information. All I can think of to do is go give this mammoth to that guy. Actually, I'm going to read that book. And if anybody's interested, I'll quickly flick through it. Oh, shit. Hang on. So that you can read it as well. You may pause and read. Okay, that's that book. There we 
we go. Okay, I'm gonna read these, and I'll be right back. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, a little dry. Not exactly a riveting read. Uh, I can't remember which way it is to get back to the... University now. Maybe it's over here. Fucking birds. I'll deal with you later. Now I'm gonna go try the woolly mammoth trick. No, in the door, you tit. <laughs> Hello. I come bearing a mammoth. Not Huck, I don't want to murder the guy. Yeah. Do excuse me, Professor. Professor, sorry to disturb you again. Professor, I have brought you something that should be of interest to you. Look. What have you got there, then? Let's see. An effigy of a mammoth. But this is Hans' doll, is it not? Yes, of course it is. How on earth did you... Oh my god, it's in my hands. It exists. It really exists. Please, please do excuse me. I'm, I'm deeply, deeply moved. You see? Your Hans and my Varlberg heir are one and the same. This is incredible. After all these years, how can I ever thank you, my dear? Oh, I must waste no time. I'm off to my laboratory. I must study this carefully. May I borrow your treasure a moment? Uh, well, actually, uh... Don't worry, miss. I will take the greatest care of it. But I need to study it. You see, it has such importance to me that this very afternoon I shall deliver an impromptu lecture to my students about this very object. If you are interested in Hans Vorlberg, then it is essential that you attend. Hmm? Do you think so? Obviously. Give me your telephone number and I will call you the moment my lecture begins. I will return you your doll at the end. You have my word. A cylinder. Burstat cylinder. I'm probably gonna have to go all the way back to the train to play that. I'll have another look around the lab first. There's more up here. Gala Cola Powder and Thing 